What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to episode 5 of the Aquarium Algae Guide. Today we're going to be talking about green spot algae. So in the previous episodes we've talked about uh, brown algae, um, blackbird algae, staghorn and cyano. By the way, if you did not see those episodes, I'll leave a link to the Aquarium Algae Guide playlist down below. But yeah, those algaes, they are you don't want to see them. They are a complete eyesore and you want to get rid of them as soon as possible. Uh, green spot algae on the other hand, like if I have a little bit of green spot algae, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Like I'm not going to make any changes. But just like any other algae, they can also explode and take over your entire aquarium. So sometimes we do need to take action. So in this video, I'll give you some useful tips and tricks how you can you know, manage this algae. Now you can identify green spot algae quite easy. I think we've all seen it at some point, but uh, they usually appear as, as small green dots, about a millimeter in size. They're very stubborn and they will start to appear on, on your aquarium glass as well as very slow growing plants. Okay, so the, the, the most famous aquarium plant, uh, Anubias. I think if you ever had Anubias in your aquarium, then you've, you've encountered green spot algae as well, because those two are like freaking magnets to each other. <laughs> Now some people might confuse uh, green spot algae with green dust algae and I understand they look they look very simple simple they look very similar but if you want to see the difference just try to wipe it away try to clean it I mean green spot algae is very stubborn and green dust algae is very soft and you can easily easily wipe it off I always think that it's very important to understand where algae is coming from and what's the reason behind it appearing inside your aquarium. And what I like about the green spot algae is it's very simple. There's basically only uh, one major reason that can, can trigger green spot algae and that has to do with uh, phosphate. So if your phosphate levels are either too high or too low, then that will trigger uh, green spot algae. So it's very simple, just check your phosphates. And you don't have to check your CO2 levels, you don't have to worry if you have too much light, you don't have to worry about if you have enough flow. I mean, those things can contribute to it as well, but the main reason is always uh, phosphate levels. All right, how do we remove green spot algae? So as I mentioned earlier, this algae is very stubborn. So if it only appears on, on your, your cram glass, uh, then you're still quite lucky and you can easily scrape it off with a, a credit card or a, a special algae scraper. Uh, if it's on your hardscape as well, it's already a little bit more tricky. Uh, you can try to brush it off with a toothbrush, something like that. And if this algae starts to appear on your plants, then you're basically screwed because it's impossible to, to remove these, this type of algae from your, from your plant leaves. Uh, so in that case, I would just suggest to, to trim those affected plants. Um, but then again, if it's on your Anubias, for example, and your Anubias takes two months to grow one new leaf, you don't want to be trimming all those leaves. Uh, so in that case, I suggest that you get a, yourself a, a cleanup crew, especially Neerite snails and Cleton snails. They are very good at scraping off these uh, green spot algae from your plant leaves. If you want a bit more of a, a quick fix, uh, you can also try spot treating it with uh, Seekam Extra, for example, or Easy Life Easy Carbo. Uh, and that works as well, but at some some cases you might also kill your plants. So that's definitely my least favorite option. I'm sure some of you might be wondering what those weird things behind me are. These are uh, <laughs> Frank and Jimmy. They take care of feeding my fish. Uh, it's just a fun fun gadget that uh, that I found on, on Amazon. I'll leave the link, links in the description. It's just a small cage attached to some fishing line. And inside you can put some food. So I've put a bit of freeze-dried tubifex in one and a bit of um, spirulina tablet in, in the other one. So this is a fun way to feed your fish. Slows down the whole process a little bit, makes them work for it. Yeah, back to the video. Okay, so we've removed as much uh, green spot algae as possible. Now, how do you make sure it's not getting worse or it's coming back? Uh, for that, we need to get an idea of the phosphate levels inside the aquarium. Uh, so I do suggest that you pick up a, a phosphate test kit. I'll leave some links in the description box below uh, if you want to pick some up. 
So phosphate is a very important nutrient for plants to grow. So if you have a planted tank and you're not dosing uh, phosphate yet, then that's probably the reason why you're getting green spot algae. Uh, if you have green spot algae and you are also dosing uh, phosphate, then maybe you're dosing a bit too much. If you already got yourself a, a phosphate test kit, uh, that's awesome, then you can test your water. And you want these values to be quite low actually, you only want them to be around 0.1 milligram to, to 1 milligram per, per liter basically. So very little phosphate, just enough to, to feed your plants. Now I do have to say that me personally, I actually never measure these values. Um, I just know from experience that my aquariums tend to get green spot algae somewhere around the fourth or the fifth week of a new setup. And that's because I always like to use a very nutrient rich substrate that already has uh, phosphates in there. And this substrate will leach some phosphates in the, in the very beginning. And after about four or five weeks that has stopped and then I noticed that the phosphate levels are, are getting low and I will start seeing some uh, green spot algae. And for me that's a sign that from then on I need to start dosing my liquid fertilizers uh, with phosphates. So yeah, just to summarize, uh, green spot algae is either caused by a very low phosphate or very high phosphate level. Uh, so get yourself a, a test kit and test your water for phosphate. Uh, make sure you dose a liquid fertilizer that has phosphate in it. Uh, don't overdose it. And if you, if you just do regular water changes, then you know for sure that any excess phosphate will be taken out with your water change. That's it, that's everything I have on uh, Green Spot LG. If you enjoyed this video, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.